Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Yo Jr. Uh, and in this video, um, I want to show you um, some preventive maintenance. And what we're going to do today uh, is create a system image. Uh, and that is basically uh, an exact copy uh, of your hard drive. So it includes all of your programs, um, how your settings are, um, all of your files. Uh, it's basically just a complete uh, exact copy of your hard drive and so we what we want to do is go through the process um, of how to um, how to create uh, the system image and uh, the repair disk uh, so if anything did happen to your hard drive as long as you have these backup files you can restore your computer to exactly how it was before that happened so the first thing we're gonna do and we're I'm using Windows 7 64-bit Pro uh, we're going to go to backup and restore. And when we open that up, the first thing we do uh, is create a system repair disk. And with that, we need a CDR. So I'll show you. So this is just a this is just a CD CD minus R is what this is uh, called. I'm trying to get this open up the webcam here. So. That's all it is. CD minus R. That's all you need. So you put that uh, into your CD drive. If you don't have a CD drive, get a USB CD ROM drive. Uh, create that disk first, and then uh, we'll come back. Okay, so the easy part is done. Um, our system repair disk has been made. Uh, and so I'm using Windows 7 64-bit. And so what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna take it out and I'm just gonna label the CD uh, Windows 7 uh, s Professional 64-bit uh, repair disk. So, and we're just gonna keep that to the side. So we're gonna close this out our repair disk has been made, which is fantastic. So, and here's our, let me pull this over a little bit. So, here's our, here's our repair disk. This is the first thing that we'll need. Um, and now, uh, we need a, we need an external hard drive from here. Um, or even if you have a secondary hard drive uh, inside of your computer. And, so we're going to go to create a system image and do 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 and, and just some backup info um, what I did was th this is actually I did a fresh install of Windows 7 so we could try and make this as quick as possible um, so I installed all the drivers I'm going to leave any programs that I've installed and I'm going to leave these files here and I've even put uh, just to make sure that these all come up just a picture here in my pictures and then just a picture here on the desktop uh, so we want to make sure that when we do go um, to load up the system image uh, file that everything comes back exactly how it is so once we're in here create a system image um, on hard so it's going to go to this is my external hard drive it's a terabyte external hard drive that's plugged in you can also put it on DVDs, uh, in which um, it would continue. It would continually tell you to um, put in more DVDs. So you might have up to like, you know, uh, five to ten DVDs, uh, maybe more, depending on how many files you have. Um, so I didn't put a lot of stuff on here, so the process would be relatively quick. So this is where the um, system image is going. <coughs> it's not going. We're not burning it to a DVD. Uh, we'll click next and all we're gonna do and I just called the name of the external hard drive system image and then the date and we're just gonna start we're gonna go to start backup so we're just gonna let this run uh, I'm gonna I don't have like I said this is a fresh install so I want to so I wanted to make it um, you know as, as quick as possible and we will also come back 
and so then we'll have our um, we'll have our repair CD and then we'll have our system image on the external hard drive so that's a complete exact copy um, of everything that's on uh, Windows 7. This can also be used in Windows 8 and Windows 10. Um, I think down the line I'll do it for those specific versions, but this is how you do it for Windows 7. So I'm going to let this go through and once this is finished um, we'll come back and I'll show you the, the next steps. Do, do, do. Okay, so our uh, system image um, has been placed on the external hard drive and this and <clears throat> now the prompt comes up says do you want to create a system repair disk and we already did that um, if you didn't just click yes and follow the prompts from before so I'm gonna hit no and the backup completed successfully which is awesome so on our uh, external hard drive we have our Windows image backup and so this will literally be <coughs> um, exactly how this hard drive is set up and so what we're gonna do next just to show you that it does work so say your hard drive um, does end up going um, but luckily enough, you have a, a repair disk and you have your system image file on an external hard drive. Um, you would put in um, the new hard drive and do the following. So um, let's go to, so we're going to go to that step now. So we're completely done uh, with this step. And so on to actually uh, loading the, uh, the repair disk first and then extracting the image file from there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the best I can here with, uh, with my phone. Um, I'm gonna restart my computer. Uh, we're all finished with the repair disk and the, um, and the system image file being on the external hard drive. So, but now we have to load the uh, uh, repair disk. So we have to boot the repair disk from the beginning. So you want to make sure you go into your BIOS settings. However you get there is fine. And so you always want to make sure. So my boot sequence, I'm going to make, uh, I can't use my mouse for whatever reason. Um, but I'm going to, what I want to do is make my, do, do, do. I want to make my CD-ROM drive uh, first. See if I can see if I can do that here. Toggle F7. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, so in my BIOS, um, I'm making sure that my uh, USB uh, CD-ROM drive will be the first thing that loads. And then I'll have my actual uh, hard drive uh, <coughs> boot second. So it should boot to the, or hold on, I'm sorry. Do, do, do. Onboard USB CD ROM drive. Okay, here we go. And then onboard SATA drive. So when the computer starts, it should try and load from the, uh, the CD ROM drive, or if you have a USB drive, it should load to that. Um, and then just so if you can find anything, your BIOS might look a little bit different. Uh, but we always want to see so if you see SATA operation, uh, put it at legacy. And do 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 system configuration. If you see anything with uh, secure boot, um, you want to always you want to disable uh, secure boot secure boot if you do see that make sure it is disabled so that we can load into um, so that we can boot up uh, the cd-rom so my boot sequence cd-rom is first and then the sata hard drive is second and all my drives 
over here, I have um, SATA operation is at legacy. So we're perfectly fine. So I'm going to apply my settings and I'm going to exit. And we'll see if it loads up to the USB drive first. Okay, it's fine. So what I'm doing just to show you how this works is I am actually loading up a Windows 7 uh, installation CD. And from there, I'm going to completely delete the hard drive altogether so that we can load our system image on it. So it's going to be as if we did put in a new hard drive. Okay, so now that we're at the, it loaded up the Windows 7 professional uh, installation CD. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to click uh, install now. Sorry if I'm shaking the phone a little bit. Um, and what I did was I actually turned off my external hard drive. So just to make sure um, that I don't format that. And this isn't a necessary step for you to do. This is me just showing you that we are actually getting rid of um, everything on the hard drive. So we're going to delete. Yep. So this is everything on the hard drive. So now it, this is as if we have... Um, so everything is completely off of that hard drive. So this is like we have a completely new hard drive in the system. Um, so I'm just going to close this out. And from here, I'm just going to pop in my, uh, pop in the repair disk that we made, the CDR. So now the system is restarting. I restarted the computer. And I have our... Um, our repair disk in and this is what comes up it says Windows is loading files and then it's going to bring us to our next screen once this is finished okay so now we're at our uh, repair disk screen uh, select your keyboard keyboard input us next and so we should be able to um, let's see Use recovery tools that can help fix my problem. So next, uh, system image recovery. So I got to make sure that I have the um, the external hard drive is plugged in. And there we go. Use the latest available system image. It's right here. Um, and to do, you can also do select the system image if you do have um, a different one, but this is the one that we're going to use. This is what I labeled it and so forth. This is what time it was done. Um, and even though that is, it was actually, uh, I guess, closer to uh, 109 uh, a.m. on the 9th. So let's click next. And do, 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 do. let's see here. Let's go to next. Or I'm just looking at the other options on Mac. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. So we're going to go to next. And we're going, your computer will be restored from the following system image. So the image that we had just put on the external hard drive. And we're going to click finish. All disks to be restored will be formatted and replaced with the layout and data in the system image. Are you sure you want to continue? Uh, yes. And so we're just going to, this says it might take a few minutes to a few hours. Um, and, but like I said before, uh, I had already, I, did, I just did a fresh install before even starting this video. So hopefully this process won't take too long. Um, once this is done, once the bar is done loading, uh, I'll continue to the video. And it really is just that simple. So the, um, after the, sim the system image got restored, uh, it restarted uh, it by itself and then loaded directly into Windows. And you can see everything that we had on uh, the computer previously. So um, even just, so everything is there 
from it's like I said it's, it's a direct copy so all of your drivers all of your programs all of your settings all of your photos every single file um, is completely there it's exactly how you had it so uh, using this system image restore is fantastic so we have our picture on our uh, on our desktop that I left there <coughs> our let's just go into uh, programs uh, programs that I had installed uh, are there the driver booster Google Chrome um, the, the screen recorder I'm using and if I go to pictures I believe I put a picture in there so there's our other picture I threw in there so everything will go back to its exact location uh, it's fantastic and so all your programs will still be operational every single thing it, um, that was on um, that hard drive um, that we wiped is now completely back so it's just like we put on and we just put in a new hard drive and then uh, restored and then uh, made it exactly how Windows was before so I really hope that this uh, tutorial helped you this is a very simple way to back up uh, every single thing um, on your Windows PC you back it up to the so make sure you have the repair disk and make sure you have an external hard drive with sufficient space because it is going to bring over all of your files so um, so I, I would typically recommend obviously something that an uh, external hard drive that is the same if or if not larger than the hard drive that you have um, on your computer so but um, everything's here man everything's here it's fantastic so here's our exact copy of um, of doing a, of doing the hey, system image on, so all I gotta do is put these all together in a bit in uh, one clip and upload it and we'll be good and we did that in a pretty uh, pretty good uh, period of time obviously if you do have uh, a lot of music and a lot of pictures and a lot of videos and you're taking up a lot of space on the computer then um, the process will take longer um, but it will still work but that was actually relatively quick um, but like I said I, I did do a fresh installation so I really hope this video helped you out um, this was for Windows any version of Windows 7 and so I will I plan to do one for Windows 8 and then also for Windows 10 as well so thank you guys as always for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video later